Hi, I'm Mike Driscoll, the president of Indiana University of Pennsylvania, and it's my pleasure to talk to you today about a great partnership that illustrates a lot of what's right with IUP. We're very pleased to have our students working with Renda Broadcasting to provide you with video broadcast of Heritage Conference football games. Our students are working side by side with professionals in the industry, are making real world discoveries, learning how to do the business of an actual broadcast, and we know that when they walk out the door, they'll be ready to go to work and be productive immediately. It's a great service and it's a great way to feature our community athletic teams. Thanks very much. This is Mark Burdick, Vice President and General Manager of Brenda Broadcasting. I hope you're enjoying tonight's telecast of our Heritage Conference Game of the Week. We at Brenda Broadcasting are very proud of our partnership with the IUP Communications Media Department and the Heritage Conference. High school football is a part of the fabric of Western Pennsylvania, and every week our four radio stations here in Indiana County feature a game. Homer Center Wildcats play on AM 1160 WCCS, the Indiana High Little Indians on AM 1450 WD, the Blairsville Bobcats on Cat Country 106.3 FM, and U92.5 features a different game every week involving Heritage Conference teams. U92 is also the home of the IUP Crimson Hawks and the Pittsburgh Penguins. We're receiving tremendous feedback on our telecasts and are enjoying working with the talented IUP communications media students who are making this production the success that it's turned out to be. So we hope you enjoy our coverage and I thank you for supporting the student athletes who work so hard both in and out of the classroom. Enjoy the game. You're watching Greater Allegheny Football. Tonight's matchup, the Indiana Indians versus the Knock Knights, here on IUP TV. Indiana County team so far, and this is for the Renda Teddy Bear Fun Drive. So far, Indiana has scored 203 points, $609 Indiana's making for the Teddy Bear Fun Drive, and including all the county teams, Colonial Motor Mart, now with $4,212. We, we thank the Colonial Motor Mart fine family of dealerships. All right, and it's going to be not kicking off from left to right. Dylan Kutik will be kicking from the 40-yard line. To our near side is John Lewis Gaddy. To the far side is Ben Snyder. Indiana four and three. Knock, turn it around, three and four. Both are three and three in the Greater Allegheny Conference. And here we go from Kesneski Field on an IRMC football night. And it's going to take Snyder back to about the six yard line, middle of the field, 15-20. Runs into trouble around the 23 yard line and that's where Indiana will put it in play with their first series. We'll give you the game officials here in just a moment. So Indiana has first possession and they come into the game with a total of 309 yards offensively, 154 rushing, 155. No, that's incorrect. Let me give you the, the uh, other side here. That's uh, the knock. 125 rushing, 138 passing, 264 of offense. So the start part is the 24-yard line, and Jake Zolinskis has shooting behind him. Two receivers left, two right. He goes to the right side, completes a pass at the 31, 32-yard line to Riley Stapleton with his 46th catch of the year. And we're going to keep you up to date as, as we go uh, throughout the evening. 31-yard line. And that would be one. That would be one <laughs> okay. right there. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Bill. <laughs> Dylan Stapleton to the left. Second down, three to go on a seven-yard pickup. Riley is to the right. Man in motion. Now reverse motion. And the handoff is going to be close to a first down. And looks like it's going to be a first down. It is a first down yeah. at the 35-yard uh, line of Indiana. Connor Schutte is your running back for Indiana. And he comes into the game with 49 carries, 277 yards, three touchdowns, averaging 5.6 a carry. We'll give you Jake, uh, Jake Zelinskis with 16 touchdowns on the year. 
The touchdown pass record in one season is Logan Weaver, who a few years ago had 20. New set of downs at the Indiana, 35. One receiver to the right. They're going to flood the left side, and that's the side. Jake Dillon's open, but it's going to go long, and Riley's open. 35, 30, 25, 20. He's inside the 10. Breaks a tackle, and he's going to go. Did he get in? He did for the touchdown. 65 yards on the pass play. 65 yards from Jake Zelinskis with his 17th touchdown pass to Riley Stapleton, and Indiana's up 6 to nothing. That didn't take long, Jack. Riley certainly had about five yards on the defender. He had to actually wait for the ball and then broke the tackle uh, twice from the defender and fought his way into the end zone, and that's two. <laughs> two receptions. Wow. And so Indiana is on the board in a hurry. The 11.07 mark, and John Lewis Gaddy is just like it was yesterday that he attempted that point that didn't go. He's 20 for 21 on the year, Riley holding as Indiana tries to tack on the seventh point as they strike early. Beautiful night here at Indiana. Snap a little bit high, and the kick by Gaddy is good. Indiana on the board quickly, 7-0 in the lead here. Over knock, and we'll be back on WDAD and WDADradio.com. Drive 76 yards in three plays. Indiana on the board. And a drive brought to you by Wood Chevrolet in Plumville. Over 50 years of service, a Wood deal is a good deal. And Adams with the ball goes back and gets it. Now returns across the 20, the 30, and they trip him up around the 36 yard line. Asa Adams with the return. John Lewis Gaddy got hold of his ankle and put him down. Found a little bit of a seam right up the center of the field. So, Knock will have the ball for the first time tonight. Only 53 seconds gone as Indiana strikes at the 11 minute mark right now. And Knock has it first down at its own 30, just inside the 37 yard line. We'll line them up for you here. They're gonna go from the gun and the quarterback is Cole Shinsky. He's six feet four, he's a junior. Hands the ball off into the pile to Milson. And he'll get about a yard. Uh, correction, that's not Milson. Instead, they're going to hand it off to Galuski, the fullback who picks up two to the 39, second down and eight. Now, they uh, they changed their quarterback. Dan Fanarelli was the quarterback and last year, and he was the incumbent. But he had thrown for 706 yards, but he threw one touchdown and five INTs. So they made the change. Wide receiver, they go from the pistol, hand the ball. Nope, you're going to keep the ball. Chinsky is downed right on the 40-yard line. Nowhere to go. Good D that time by yeah, Indiana. Really nice and all. And you talked about Chinsky. He's a big boy. He's 6'4". He's a left-hander. And uh, he can see easily over his line. You're going to call the name of Cody Milsom a lot tonight, Jack. He's carried the ball 137 times, 609 yards, seven touchdowns. He is the tailback. He is a veteran of this team. Addis Crouch is to the right. Inside him is Adams with 17 receptions from the gun, and they're going to go with the uh, flanker screen, completed pass, but that's not going to get him a first down on the completed pass to Crouch with his 10th reception. They never did get him down, but the whistle blew at the 46, and it's a yard short of a first down. John Douglas Hilditch had uh, most of the back of his shirt, and that stopped him just inside the 40, or just outside the 45-yard line. Fourth down in about a yard, maybe just a hair less than a yard. And they're in punt formation, but remember what Riley Stapleton did last week. Matt Christie, a sophomore, 6'4", 200-pounder, is kicking to Riley Stapleton. And there's a whistle. I think uh, Knock was moving. Fell over here on the right side, uh, Addis Crotch. So that's, so that's gonna cost yep. them five. Take it back to the 41 yard line of Knox. Seven to nothing Indiana. They scored three plays, 53 seconds of this game on a 65 yard pass play by Jake Zolinskis to Riley Stapleton. And now we have double safeties back. 
as Gaddy joins Riley. The snap was a little bit high. There's a flag. It's a line drive. It's going to be taken by Riley, and he'll go down with a yard return to the 29. Now let's come back here and see what this is all about. Bruce, down to you. It's against uh, the visitors, and Coach Z says back him up, make him do it again. Mm -hmm. Illegal shift. Mm. So that's going to shift on a punt. That's something different. That was a line drive punt, but uh, number 12, Ada's Crouch, got down the field very quickly. Matt indicates over here the center picked up the ball uh -huh. and then let it go, and that cost them five. So back to back penalties, going to take it back to the 36 yard line. Seven to nothing. Indiana has the lead. Stapleton is back with Gaddy. Now they move it up to the 30 yard line to return, and Christie uh, waiting the snap at his 21. Snap, it's high, but good thing this kid's 6'4". Uh -huh. He reaches up and gets it. It's going to go over the head of the Indiana receivers, and this Ooh. is going to be a great kick because it's going to be downed at the one-yard line. Wow. Wow, that's uh, 64 yards. 63, actually, if it's at the one. Started at the 36. 63, so that's, yeah. That's a No return. Wow, that's a, that's a break, but it was a high snap, and as you said, the kicker is quite tall. That's, uh, all three snaps were up above his head. We're going to tell you that our officials tonight brought to you by Dr. Hilliard, optometrist. The referee is Mike Gaffney. Chris Grogans is the umpire. Kevin Davis, the linesman. Brad Rabber is the line judge. The field judge is Eric Akins, and Zach Burnfield is the side judge, our officials tonight. So the ball is resting at the one yard line of Indiana and they're trying to come out. They got 99 to go. And the handoff on the right side and backpedaling his way is a shooty to about the four, maybe the five. They're gonna get the four yard line, couple of yards on the play, second down coming up. 63 yard punt, big roll. And you let that ball go over your head and it's going to roll and roll, and that's what it did. Receiver to the right, two receivers to the right, two to the left. From the four, Jake is back, three-step drop. Now he's in the end Look zone. Out. They got him, and it's a safety. Caught him in the end zone, sacked him in the end zone, and two points for Knock. And, boy, that changes the complexion of this game for the rest of the game. Seven to two now. Matt Jaworski just blew right through. Nobody picked him up. And as Jake turned around in the end zone, down he went. So... Like you said, now 7-2, to the momentum back uh, to Knock. We'll have the kickoff in a moment. It's 7-2, to Indiana over Knock, and we'll be back in a moment on WDAD, WDADradio.com. And we're getting killed on the boards. This is your territory, Grimson. Do your job. Grimson. Hello? Oh, hi, honey. Al? All right. The itsy bitsy spider <laughs> climbed up the water. Down came the rain. I love you too, sweetheart. Love. Pass it on from the foundation for a better life. Kick it off, and they're going to kick it off here from the 20. Usually it's a pooch kick with Gaddy, and the kick is going to be a line driver taking oh. it to 50 to the Indiana 40, spinning his way to the 39 yard line is Ryan Grossman. 39-yard line of Indiana. Well, terrific field position for the Knights. You know, these are two very even teams. Of course, uh, Knock is 3-4 and four overall. Indiana's 4-3, four and three, but 3-3 three and three in the greater Allegheny. And uh, both teams know their back's up against the wall with five teams vying for the three remaining playoff spots. 8-18 to go in the first quarter. Pistol formation now, two receivers to the left, one to the right. Faking, Shinsky rolls to the right. At 6'4", he's gonna run. Now he throws the pass and it's caught by Grossman down the sideline. 20, the 15, high stepping his way and he's down around the 10 yard line of Indiana. Grossman was all alone out around the 25 yard line. I think the linebackers, the cornerbacks, they pulled up because of Shinsky and left Grossman all alone and they're gonna put it right on the 10. 29 yard pickup. And it's goal to go at the 10-yard line. Grossman, who returned to kickoff, was wide open here. Asa Adams is wide to the left, 5-10 wide out. We've got a slot man on the right, Milson. Two receivers to the right from the gun formation. And the handoff goes to Grossman around the left side at the five. He cuts and he falls. And he went down and he went into the end zone. They call it for a touchdown. It was Addis Crouch instead on a reverse. 
Crouch goes in for the touchdown from 10 yards. And look at that, it's 8-7 knock. Orion Waters actually tripped him up, but he had terrific balance the last four yards as we went into the end zone. That didn't take him very long, 7.48, so 12, 30 seconds. And uh, they have scored, and boom, just like that, Indiana 7 to nothing lead is now, they are now trailing. Woo. Amazing how quickly you can lose the lead. So now uh, with an 8-7, uh, they're going to go for two here to try to make it a field goal difference. Uh, are they or are they not? No, they're going to they're going to kick it. And this is Tupper the kick. It is good. Ugh. Logan Tupper puts it through and it's a 9 to 7 game in favor of Knock. Wow, wild and woolly here on senior night. We're back on WDAD and WDADradio.com. Every day is so wonderful and suddenly it's hard to breathe. Would it be okay if I sat here? Is she serious? Whatever. New girl. words can't bring me down. Reaching out. Pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Best of luck the and coaches continue. Uh, no bumper, no bumper. And a commitment to progress. And at Indiana First Bank, they share those same values. Jeez. Wow. Good kick. And the kick by Plutik is going to go and bounce inside the five and into the end zone for a touchback. And a good wow. kickoff there. And Indiana will have the ball at the 20. They trail 9-7. They scored at 11.07, and now they're back 9-7. And they take over at the 7.48 mark after the safety and then the touchdown. So Jake Zelinskis will go to work with two receivers to the left, and they've got a running back in there, and the pitch coming to the near side, and a no gain right into 20-yard line. Well, what happened, uh, Mac Christie shed the block by Riley Stapleton, and John Lewis ran right into his arms. So uh, no gain, a lot of running, no gain. Boy, a lot changes in three minutes and uh, 20 seconds. Boy, has it ever in a hurry. So you don't have time to rest on your laurels with a 7-0 lead. All of a sudden, they're down by 2-9-7. Still wondering why they didn't go for two. But I'm not the coach. Direct snap. Zelenskis back, Jake throws, and it is going to be caught. Is it hung on to? No. Incomplete at the 23-yard line. The defender, Asa Adams, he was the key to that. He just kept John Lewis from wrapping the arms around the ball. Third and 10 now at the 20-yard line. As I mentioned, Nock is a pretty good defensive team. They only give up 202 yards a game. 109 and a half rushing, 92 and a half through the air. Well, you know, Jack, we're waiting. They've got a 5-10 corner, and we're waiting for some deep bombs. It seems to work. Man in motion, Dylan Stapleton to the right side. Jake rolls back to pass, rolling to his right. Throws on the move, incomplete. Too tall and out of bounds at the 31-yard line. Indiana forced to punt. Well, that was quick. Three and out. That only took 44 seconds. It's all Indiana had the ball, and they're going to turn it over. And again, Nock is going to have excellent field position. Asa Adams will be back here around the 50, and he will be joined by Cody Milsom. Riley Stapleton to punt, averaging 30.3 on the year, and he stands at his five-yard line, and they need a good snap right here. They're coming. Snap is good. Kick is low. It's going to be returned. Milsom comes up with a 48 to the 45. Gets a block, still on his feet, and you'll go to the Indiana 39-yard line. Bruce will send it down to you. Okay, guys, I think the Indiana team a little shell-shocked right now, and on that last drive, there was some defensive confusion on the pass down the right sideline. The Indiana defenders went to the inside part of the field and plus the opening to the outside, and they were completely fooled on the touchdown as well. They got to just settle down, hang in there, but Knox had great field position early. 
And it continues as they have the ball at the Indiana. They're going to put it on the 40-yard line from the pistol. The handoff goes to Milsom. He meets resistance right into the center of the pile. Isaac Gray was the first to lead it, and it's a yard pickup. Yeah, Isaac got him right away just as he was getting underway. And they're going to give him forward progress to the 38-yard line. Oh, jeez. Two yards. That, that's generous. Telling they, uh, me. I didn't think he got past the line of scrimmage, but they gave him two yards. Ryan Grossman is wide to, or make it Addis Crouch is wide to the left side. And Asa Adams out here to the right. Sidecar to the left. Slot man left, but the left tackle jumped. And that's going to cost him five yards. Zach Curry moved. And that'll cost the Knights five yards. That's their third penalty here in the first half of the first quarter. Which shows 6.21 to go. The Knights lead at 9-7. Indiana jumped on top on the 65-yard pass play from Zelenskis to Riley Stapleton. Made it look easy, huh? Then a safety and then a touchdown, and all of a sudden, it is a 9-7 game in favor of Knock. Crouch wide to the left, slot man inside him. Shinsky going to roll to the left. He's on the move. Will he run? He throws now. Was he over the line of scrimmage? The pass is complete. I think he was over the line of scrimmage because there there's is a, the flag. now there the flag, is, and yeah. there's one over here, too. Okay. Got a couple of them. Referee coming out now to indicate this is Mike Gaffney. Yeah. Yep. Illegal forward pass. Uh, penalty number what? Four? Four and a loss of down. Yeah. With the illegal forward pass. Stats update brought to you by First Commonwealth Bank. Time to be first. On an IRMC football night in week eight. Big Greater Allegheny Conference matchup here. And the ball now resting at the 43-yard line of Indiana. They need 13 for the first down. Third and 13. Shinsky has Milson behind him. And he has. Uh, yeah, they didn't step they didn't, it off. No, yet. wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. they didn't mark it right. off. Now, it started it should, at the 43. <laughs> yeah, should be at the 48. 48, yeah. yeah. They're, <laughs> they're at the 46 right now. They put it at the 46. Interesting. So the three yard penalty. Okay. <laughs> And everybody up here kind of looks at one another and saying, gee, we should have we could have the call. Back to pass. Shinsky looks. He throws. And incomplete. A good hit at the 27-yard line by John Lewis Gaddy on the intended receiver. That was uh, Couch. Crouch, and yeah. Crouch goes down. He <laughs> he got hit right away. Crouch had good field position. He, he broke inside John Lewis, but John Lewis popped him pretty good. And uh, now the ball's on the 40, well, back to the 46. Oy, oy, oy. And the, the penalties really have hurt Knock here. Four penalties already. So they're going to send uh, into punt formation Mac Christie once again, who will get it away from about his 40. The Indiana receivers are back around the 10. Boy, number 12 really jumped. Looked like he was offside. One of the gunners here. And the ball on the far side of the field. Another good roll inside the 10. There is no flag. Well, that was Crouch. He, he, he was down there first on the last pass as well. He does. He shoots off the line like a bullet. But again, it rolls down. No return. And Indiana's got its back to the wall. As we'll see where they finally end up with it right on the 10-yard line. Wow. Field position here. 9-7 in favor of the Knights. We'll get a play in. Then we'll go down to Bruce for an update. 5.28 to go in the first period. Jake Zelenskis now uh, resetting his players. He has one setback, that's Shooty behind him. Two receivers to the left, two to the right. He's back and he throws a pass over the head, an incomplete of Dylan Stapleton at the 15. And Dylan at 6'4", leaping up, could not even get it. It was that high. Bruce, down to you. Yeah. Okay, guys, that's uh, twice now Indiana's tried to throw from deep in their territory. Uh, the last time they tried to go to Riley Stapleton over the middle, he was uh, covered, so Jake got the safety. This time, Dylan open, and you got to be pretty tall to uh, overthrow Dylan and Riley, but they did. Under center this time, back to pass, setting up, going long, down the right sideline, and a leaping grab going to be caught at the 45, and uh, hauling it in is Riley, and he'll take it at the 49-yard line of Indiana. 39-yard pickup. That's why you have a 6'5 ride receiver, and he's got that big wing spread anyway, and a terrific catch by Riley. That would be three. 
as he uh, on the quest for 11 to tie the school record. First down out at the Indiana 49-yard line. New set of downs, 9-7 in favor of Knock. We're in the first period, and a man in motion. Now reverse motion, and the fake, and Jake's going to keep the football, and he'll pick up five. And maybe six. He'll take it to just uh, the 45-yard line of the Knights, and he got actually good yardage. Well, he's got 111 yards receiving already. On just three catches? Three catches, yeah. They can't cover him, guys. I agree with you, Bruce. I mean, that first play, he was open by eight yards. They can throw to him deep all night long. Second down coming up and three yards to go at the 44-yard line of knock. They're showing blitz back to pass, dumping it over to the right side, incomplete and out of bounds. And a first down for Indiana. They'll take it to the 35-yard uh, line of the Knights. And that was to uh, Riley again. Yep. And a first down at the 35, and the countdown is on. That's four. 4.25 to go in the first period. The Knights lead 9-7 on Indiana. Jake Zelinskis will line him up with a sidecar in Shooty to his left. Two receivers to the right, two to the left, and the whistle and a flag and movement. That's it's against Indiana. Yeah, they'll push him back five, their first penalty. Just looking, the flag is hanging straight down. You know, we had such a windy day here in Indiana all day. I was a little concerned that would affect the passing game tonight, but the winds went away, and it's a perfect night for football and for passing to Riley and Dillon. Senior night here at Andy Kuzneski Field. This is the last game at home in the regular season, and we don't know what's going to develop in Week 10. We hope there is a Week 10. So now with a first down, and they've got to go to the 25. It's first and 15. Out of the gun, Jake to the left. He sets, he throws, it's caught at the 29-yard line. And out of bounds he goes. Dylan Stapleton hauls it in. About four yards short of a first down. They were really, the, the safeties were playing him very soft. They were back deep. And it was double coverage, and Dylan was right inside them. And a nice pass by Jake right to him. Now remember, Jake came into this game with 1,087 yards completing about 55% of his passes. He's under center, he fakes, he keeps the football to 25, he cuts in at the 20, and down he goes around the 18 yard line and a first down. Also, since he just ran that ball, I'll tell you that he, coming into this game, has run for 444 yards and six rushing touchdowns. He's accounted for 23 touchdowns this year. And that's where Indiana can kill you guys because we know about the Stapleton brothers and how lethal they are. And then Jake makes a play with his legs, so they have to respect that. Updates from the sideline brought to you by Good and Associates of Indiana. Under center right now with a new set of downs at the 18, and this time hit and down goes Jake Zelinskis at the 20. A loss of a couple on the play. That looked like a broken play almost. Well, Ty Gornick came right through, and they, he had Jake before Jake could turn it upfield. So a loss of uh, two back to the 20-yard line. We're approaching uh, three minutes to go in the first quarter. Knights lead by a score of 9-7 over Indiana. So Dylan Stapleton is going to be uh, inside the numbers to the right. Slot man inside him is Riley. Two receivers out here to the left. Back to pass, looking for Dylan, Throwing long for the end zone, and he's got it. It's a touchdown for Indiana. Hauling it in, Dylan Stapleton hauls it in for the touchdown, and Indiana regains the lead. Wow, terrific footwork by Dylan. I mean, he looked like Barishnikov over there as he pulled that down, tiptoed, kept them both in, and Indiana's back in the lead at the 2.45 mark. That pass play, second completion for a touchdown, is number 18 on the year for Jake Zelinskis, and I think uh, Indiana didn't have enough players on the field. They had to get a, an 11th player on the field here. They're up 13 to nine. As I told you that with that safety, that just changes as far as your strategy yep. with a coach is concerned. So after the touchdown pass, they go for two back and looking over the middle and it's caught and that should be two. He's got it. And uh, that's Riley that time, isn't it? Uh, that is Riley, yes. Yep, Riley's got it. So. We've got a 15 to nine game. Indiana leading knock 2.45 to go. This is only the first period. 
We're back in a minute on, on WDAD, WDADradio.com. All your professors, all of them, they know that all it takes is one dreamer with passion, one person, and they hope in each of you that you might be that one who makes a longer lasting light bulb, who writes music for the ages, who reaches into the mind and discovers a new star and who can change the world of a fifth grader. We're gathered here to hope in you. All righty, here we go. And it is 2.45 to play in the first quarter. 59, this is gonna be a squibber taken. Jeez, you talk about field position. Knock's going to have the ball at the 41. I don't know if that was by design. Well, Looked like Gaddy hit it wrong. Well, he, he topped it like my golf shot, but I, I think that was a planned play. I think, Bruce, do you have any any insight on that? Well, this former kicker thinks he just topped it. That's what I thought, okay. too. And, I didn't, and I'm not a kicker. Hey, I want to say one other thing. Back to the touchdown. What a great adjustment by Dylan Stapleton. The ball in the air. He turned his body about 180 degrees to make that catch. Ball is at the 40-yard line of knock and they have the first play and they'll give it to Cody Milsom. He is hit from behind and he falls forward to the 46 and he picked up six yards on the play. Logan Albright making that tackle out to the 46 yard line, six yard pickup. I haven't played, that's just nine minutes of football is all that's been played here tonight and we've seen a whole game. That's why I looked up at the scoreboard, I gave the score and I had to hesitate. I thought, wait a minute, this is still the first quarter. You can hear uh, down below the bench exhorting the Indiana player. Shinsky fakes, keeps it, and down he goes. One yard, that's it. And the tackle was made by Isaac Gray. Isaac Gray, number 51, brought him down. So it's going to bring up third down in three at the 47-yard line of Knock. Indiana has regained the lead, 15-9. Remember last week they came back four times. Yes to battle Gateway, and Nock is coming off a big win. Now Shinsky has a side card to the left. He's got an H back on the left, two receivers to the left side, and the 6'4 left-hander calls it, gets the play, gives to Milson. Milson is through, picks up a first down, keeps turning the leg, somebody better tackle him. 40-yard line, and Riley gets him by the jersey and throws him out of bounds. But Milson carried the ball inside the 35-yard line, and Nock picks up a first down. Well, that's just hand tackling, and that's not going to happen with a guy like Milton. You know, they they were just trying to grab him, and you got to lay that shoulder into this young man and wrap him up down to the Indiana 33-yard line. Two receivers to the left. The slot man to the left is Adams, and outside him is Crouch. Shinsky hands the ball off to Milson again. Inside the 30, fights his way to about the 27, picks up another six. Last week, there was no question Indiana's lines, both offensively and defensively, were beaten. And they gave up a lot of yardage. Now defensively, they're going to send in Trey John Jones. And they'll take out Isaac Gray. Second down and about four at the Indiana 26. We're down to half a minute to play in the first period. Shinsky's going to take it. Now he's going to run the football, and he will take it to the 20-yard uh, line and pick up a first down, and that's 26-6 to go in the period. Ryan Waters making that tackle, and they look at Crouch. He's the wide out on the left side. I think Shinsky looks. If he's open, he may throw it. He was not open. Dylan Stapleton had him, and he decided to tuck it and run. Jones was in for one play defensively. Gray goes back in. New set of downs at the Indiana 19. Handing, faking a Ditschinski, and he lost his balance as he got down to the 16-yard line, and that's going to be the last play of a long and really interesting first quarter. Indiana 15, knock 9. We're back on WDAD and WDADradio.com right after these messages. The brain is a remarkable organ. It's almost infinite in its capacity. Its ability to reach its full potential is limited by only one thing, the heart. For if the heart isn't fully engaged in what you're doing, if you have no drive, no passion, the brain will simply go through the motions. Find your success at Indiana University of Pennsylvania. 
We are back. That first quarter took 31 minutes to play. A lot of action, 15 to nine, Indiana. And uh, certainly some stats. Riley Stapleton with four receptions, 120 yards and a touchdown. Dillon with two receptions and 31 yards and a touchdown. And knock with the ball to 16. Pass over the middle. It's going to be caught to the five-yard line and a first down. Shinsky got rid of the ball in a hurry. He dumped it off to the fullback, Galuski, who was in a slot. And it's goal to go at the five-yard line of Indiana. That's just a, a quick play where he just come right over the line. And Shinsky at 6-4. And uh, he sees him very well. Just got underneath the defenders. And the goal to go at the five. Shinsky has rushed uh, this year for some yardage. Passing 219 yards. He just became the uh, starting quarterback a while back. And now they'll go from the Wildcat. Then they'll give it to Milson. And Milson off the right side, untouched standing into the end zone and knock has scored a touchdown and they regain the lead 16 to 15. Whew. people asked me today that what do you think about tonight i said i think it's going to be a low scoring hard fought game and look at this this thing has been wide open and very entertaining 11 31 so just 29 seconds into the second period knock regains well if they get the tie they'll try to regain the lead oh yeah 15 15 my yeah. bad Bad uh, mathematics on my part. Now I was right anyway. The extra yeah. point's good. <laughs> Get out of that one. Okay. We're going to take a timeout. 16-15 knock. We will be back with uh, Indiana High Football on IRMC night on WDAD, WDADradio.com after this. I did everything right. I went to college, graduated with honors, but I'm just not getting to where I want to be. I need to get to the next level. What am I missing? Where are these people going? What, what do they have that I don't? How do I get that edge, that hands-on experience that will put me ahead of the competition? Graduate school at Indiana University of Pennsylvania. Well, so knock. They start and go uh, 60 yards in eight plays. Only took 254. They regain the lead, 16-15 of what's next. And the drive brought to you by Wood Chevrolet. And the ball hugs inside the line, stays inbound, scooped up at the 10-yard line by Snyder's back to the 20. And a return to the 25. Thought that ball was going to squirt out of bounds. It did not. And Indiana will have the ball at their 25. Bruce will send it down to you. Okay, guys, I think the Indiana defense now just trying to figure out what this other team's going to do. We heard Coach C say they'll run from different formations. You can see why they made the quarterback change to Kolshinsky. He fools him with his legs. And uh, I agree with what Bill said. Sometimes as he starts to take off, it looks like he's going to pass. And then he runs. And then they go out of the wildcat and score. So try to figure it out, guys. Uh, that's up to the defense. That's right. That we, drive brought to you by Wood Chevrolet Plumville after 50 plus years. A Wood deal is a good deal. Oh. In trouble is Gaddy, and he's down. And Crouch got him for a loss back around the 19 yard line. Yeah, he had nowhere to go. One thing we've noticed too Knock has started at its own 37, at the Indiana 39, at the Indiana 40, and at their own 40. So they've had excellent field position every drive. Great field position. A loss of six, second down 16 on the far side hash back at the Indiana 19. Jack Benedict, Bill Otto at the S&T Bank broadcast booth. My life, my bank. Solinskis under center, he's thrown for two touchdowns so far. Receivers left and right and he looks sidelines, gonna be caught around the original line of scrimmage and actually about the uh, 26. So that'll bring up a third and nine. Uh, that was Dylan that time. Mm -hmm and make it about a third and eight. Spotted around, uh, not around, on the Indiana 27. Yeah, that's where it'll be. So with third and long, I'm looking for number number four on this one. Can you see it on those jerseys? Barely. Uh, he <laughs> is gonna be slot to the right. Dylan is outside him, two receivers to the left. They're gonna flood this right side of the field and that's where Jake is going to run and he looks and he throws to Dylan who juggled the ball incomplete. And the timing by Asa Adams was perfect. He got there just in time, put a little bit of a hit on Dylan, who slaps his helmet and said, I should really have caught that ball. Yep. Gonna punt. Yep, he should have. Uh, Riley was covered by Corey Godlewski. He's just 5'10", but he's very fast. And he stayed right with him. But it's gonna be another punt. Riley Stabon will come on, and more than likely, Knox gonna get some good field position Again. here. 
Let's watch the snap. Riley will punt it away from about his 15. It's a good snap. Now he's going to run the football, and he's turning the corner at the 20, 25, 30, and he's got a first down, and he'll stay in bounds all the way to the 44-yard line. 45-yard line. Wow, he picked up 18 yards on that play. And again, the second week in a row, Riley Stapleton running out of punt formation. I thought he was going to get trapped back there. He put on some speed as he came to the near sideline, and he blew by Bruce. Woo! So it's a new set of downs. And forget that punt stuff. Yeah. First down for Indiana. And the ball on their own 45-yard line. The handoff goes to Shooty, and he fights his way to the 49 for six yards on the play. Shooty averaging 5.6 a carry coming into the game, second down and four. As you know, I'm a fan of Connor Shooty. He's 5'5", 200, and he's just a, a tough, tough kid uh, running inside. And usually they go with two and three uh, runs with him in a row. I don't think so tonight, though. They've really opened up the offense. 16-15 knock. 9.22 to go. We're in the second period of play. Jake Zelinskis is back to pass. Zelinskis throws. It's caught by Riley. Fights his way for a first down. And the ball will be spotted at the 41-yard line. And he's up to what? Five catches That's now in five. the game? So that puts him at 50. Five catches, 128 yards. So he had 50 last year. Now he's number one in the WPIAL. Yes, now. he is. Yeah, he, he relinquished that last week, uh, the week before, and then came back and leads. And the ball is at the 41-yard line with a new set of downs. Under nine minutes to go. Indiana trails by one. Gaddy in motion, far side of the field on the counter. That's no go. They handed it off on a delay to Ryan Waters, and he was stopped at the 41. Godlewski got him. He uh, wasn't full. He stayed home and put him down. Second down and 10 for Indiana. We're in the second period on senior night here at Andy Kuzneski Field. Next week we go to Hollidaysburg. Hopefully it'll be a meaningful game, less meaningful. Two receivers left, two to the right, under center, back to pass. It's to Riley. He's got it for his sixth reception, and he takes it for a first down to the 27-yard line of the Knights. First down, Indiana. And Jake stayed, stayed right there. He was in heavy traffic and just reached up and threw the ball across the middle to Riley. It's a fun and offense to watch. Yeah, it is. It really is. Another and 14 yards for Riley. Racking up the yardage. We'll have to look at uh, yardage uh, records at halftime here. Mm -hmm. And Gaddy was in motion, and he'll take the pitch now. And he's got it to 25, 20, and he heads for the 15-yard line. They're going to say he was out of bounds at the 18-yard line. He's mighty close to a first down. Bruce, can you get a look there? It looks like it is right on it. I'm going to say he's got it. Yep, by about three inches. Three inches it is at the 18-yard line. And a new set of downs for Indiana after Riley Stapleton ran out of punt formation, 18 yards for a first down to keep this drive going. Man in motion far side of the field, looking, throwing, and that's the pass incomplete and almost making a miraculous uh, catch over there. Dylan Stapleton, who again had to make an adjustment last yeah. time he caught one, this time he got twisted around a he whole did. bunch. He was looking over the right shoulder and had to turn around to the left and uh, just off his fingertips. Stops the clock, seven and a half to go till halftime. And as part of halftime, we will have the MSA WPIAL report. This will be the 11th play of the drive, Jack. Which started at the 25 and then, of course, resumed after the uh, run out of punt formation. Sure. But they've got him all wrapped up this time and nowhere to go as the Knights came in and surrounding him was uh, 54 Ty Gornick, mm -hmm. a 215 pound senior in a loss for Jake Zelinskis back to the 20. So third and 13 for Indiana. I, can you throw that fade pass to Riley in one of the corners? We you never know. And they can get a first down, of course, needing yep. 13 yards, they can take it down to the eight. From the gun with a sidecar to the left, Riley across the line of scrimmage in motion, stays in to block. Now he goes out, but the pass is incomplete. 
down around the 12 yard line and there's a flag well no it was intercepted oh it was intercepted it was actually intercepted by ryan grossman i didn't see that off the uh mm. it was tipped off of uh dylan's fingers and it was intercepted all right well that stops that drive at the 647 mark grossman ate up a lot of time nearly uh, just under five minutes on that drive but Indiana comes up short. Knox got the ball. Here we go again, going the other way. Going to line it up at the 12-yard line and go from the gun into the pile. Milsom, and he's hit immediately. That interception by uh, Jake Zelinskis uh, was the, uh, uh, let's see here. I got it was the other eight. Pass. That's only his third of the year. Mm -hmm. Throwing 18 touchdown yeah. passes. That was one one yard on a play. Well, that took a little bit out of the sails of the sure uh, Indiana team with that long drive. But the interception, and so now Shinsky will go from the gun. And he hands it off to Milson again, who takes it to the 16. Third and long coming up. Six minutes to go till the half. Indiana needs a stop here, and then they should get good field position off the punt. But they got to make the stop here. Third and long, third and five for knock. All right, let's see how they're going to line it up this time. They're going to send Addis Crouch out here to the left with a slot man inside him in Grossman. Shinsky comes to the left, he fakes, he's on the option, then he pitches, and it's going to be Milson who takes a hard hit, but he picks up a first down at the 23-yard line, and he's bent over, and he's getting up slowly. Well, Shooty in Denver put a lick on him just as he got out of, uh, around the 25-yard line. Those guys really hit him. That was a heck of a pitch by uh, Shinsky. And got the first down. Yeah, at the 24-yard line, he needed the 23. They take Milson out and give him a breather. And it will be a new set of downs for the Knights as they lead it by one, 16-15. Crouch out here to the left side, trips to the right. Shinsky on the move. He steps up. He's being rushed. He throws the pass. Diving attempt at the 42, incomplete. Intended for Adams. He's a nimble guy for 6'4". He gets around pretty well. Yeah, he's, he's uh, slim. He's uh, listed at 215, but uh, he's got a lot of mobility. Bruce, say, I'll take it down to you for a minute. You know, he reminds me a little bit of Kenny Stabler back in his days when he could run. Late in his career, he couldn't. But this guy can throw. He can run. And on that option a few seconds ago, I mean, he kept it till the very last second, and they didn't know what to do. Actually, I was thinking of Bobby Douglas myself. Fake. Oh. And the toss is going to be caught. That's a short game at the 28-yard line as Crouch pulled it in. Or, or make it the tight end, Matt Christie. Uh, it's going to be Douglas. Third down. <laughs> Third down at the 30. All I remember about Bobby Douglas, every time they broke huddle, he had to pull his pants up. If you know, he just, he was always hiking the pants up. I like Stabler's reference in his earlier years much better. That's before he got, went gray. The ball is at the 30 in the middle of the field. It is third down and five to go. Actually about four to go, four and a half minutes to go in the second period. Chinsky with a quick pitch. And getting yardage, this is Galuski. He'll take it for a first down to the 45-yard line. Correction, Ben Lowry in there, number 22, a junior, giving Milson a break. He had 22 rushes coming into uh, this game, and he rushes to the 45-yard line and a first down. He showed some real quickness there, Jack, after he got that quick pitch from the quarterback. He just accelerated out another first down. Galuski going to line up as a slot to the left. Crouch is out here outside the numbers from the pistol formation this time. <laughs> and he Whoa. gives the ball to Lowry, <laughs> takes it away, and Shinsky breaks into the secondary <laughs> for a first down. It was like, you want my ball? It's my ball. And he took it back, and he takes it. Shinsky does to the 43 of Indiana and a first down. Almost turned him around. They grabbed it so hard. Whew. Jack, what a difference in this quarter versus the first quarter. This is only the, the really the second series of the second period, and we've played uh, uh, just a little over eight minutes. 3.40 to play. Indiana with four down linemen needing a big play, faking. Shinsky rolls to the right. He has running room, and now he will run it, and he puts that shoulder down and crosses the Indiana 40 to the Indiana 37-yard line. He picked up six yards on the play. Hey, 
Well, it seems to me when they made the change to Shinsky as the quarterback, I never saw the other young man play. Well, we saw him last year, last but year, it's hard to, yeah. Farinelli. Yeah. Uh, but this kid, he shows a lot of moxie out there, and uh, he's a good one. Now they go from the pistol formation after a six-yard pickup, and it's Lowry. And Lowry, a uh, little man with uh, some pretty good quickness, takes it to the 34, a yard short of a first down, and they are pounding the Indiana defense. It's third and one, and the clock continues to roll. And this, is, this will be the 11th play of this drive or knock. Isaac Gray goes in for Trey John Jones. Third down, a yard to go for the Knights. They lead by one point, and they have the ball at the Indiana 34 at the far side hash, and now they'll go from the Wildcat, and they give it to Milson, and Milson takes the ball inside the 30, picks up a first down at the 29 of Indiana. Dylan put the final touch on him as he got through, but this kid, uh, the, he's a pretty good runner. Cody Milson, 609 yards coming into the game. And he's a player. He's, he's one of those uh, veteran players. He's a senior, been around a long time, and just a, a hard-nosed football player. Now with a brand new set of downs, the Knights have the ball at the Indiana 29. First and 10, Shinsky out of the gun, pitches to Lowry. There's a flag on the play. A uh, couple of yards on the game. That's usually a hold, but we'll see what they're going to call. Bruce will send it down to you. Yeah, I think the Indiana coaches say a hold as well, and that is the call. Well, that's their. Uh, that's about five, isn't it's, it? It's five or six penalties. Of course, this is better. The last one was just a three-yard penalty. <laughs> so yeah, maybe this will be an eight-yard. That'll take them back ten yards. That'll take yeah. a ten. That'll, that'll be good. But it's back at the forty. Forty. The so it's an eleven-yard penalty. Well, where the hold was, I guess. But some strange. Oh, well. They need 20 for the first down. First and 20 from the gun. Shinsky on a quarterback draw is going to keep it. 35. He breaks across the 30. There's a flag thrown. He's inside the 25 to the 21-yard line. But the flag was thrown. Looked like it's going to be a hold. I think Lowry, number 22, was the guilty party for knock. Well, these penalties are really hurting them. There it is. Yeah. That's uh, at least six penalties here in the first half. And our update stats, quick stats, brought to you by First Commonwealth Bank. Time to be first. Back-to-back -back penalties against the Knights. That's why the coaches shake their head. It takes it back to the 45. Talk about taking momentum out of a really nice drive. Which started at 6 minutes and 40 seconds. We're now at 135 and counting. But now the ball with 25 yards away from a first down. Shinsky will dump it off in the flat. It'll be caught, but this will be a short gain of about six yards. And then Lowry, he pushes an Indiana player after the play, but there's no flag. 12 plays on this drive, and the clock continues to wind. Six-yard pickup, second down at the Indiana 39. Shinsky has two receivers to the left, and the outside receiver is Christie in rolling to the left. Still rolling, under pressure, throws, diving interception by Indiana at the 31-yard line. Jake Zelenskis picked it off. And Indiana stops that drive with 59.9 to go, 57.9. They had the ball uh, nearly seven minutes. You know, 647 is what I had. The drive started now, 58 seconds remaining. But Jake with the interception, Indiana will have the ball at its own 32. Jake has six interceptions on the year. Ball is at the 32 back, looking, throwing uh, Riley, fighting off the defender. Yeah. It's going to be interference here. I, I, it on looked defense. to me like Riley was the guilty, but uh, they're going to give it to Knock. You talk about two mirrored drives. Indiana with that long drive down to the 18-yard line ended in an interception, and Knock coming down the field, ending in an interception after 12 plays. 16-15, Knock with the lead. Penalty was against Knock. Yeah. Yeah. Pass interference. I saw Dylan Edwards got a little hand fighting going down there, and they got Knock. So they can still time to throw something deep downfield at the 47-yard line now. Going to line up with a sidecar to the right. Riley goes in motion. Three receivers will go left. Looking, throwing. Riley's got it at the 50-yard line. Makes a move inside, and they hit him from behind. Knock him down at the 45. Eight-yard pickup. Time down to 40 seconds. 
Got to hurry it up, boys. Call a timeout, and they do. We'll step out for a quick 30-second break. 16-15 knock on WDAD, WDADradio.com. Are we getting killed on the board? This is your territory, Grimson. Do your job. Grimson. Hello? Oh, hi, honey. Al? All right. The itsy bitsy spider. <laughs> climbed up the water. Spider. Down came the rain. I love you too, sweetheart. Love. Pass it on from the Foundation for a Better Life. We're back with you here with uh, 35.6 to go. And Indiana called time, and they have the ball at the 45 of knock. Indiana with two timeouts left, guys. And they trail by one, 16-15. So this time, Jake will line up from the gun with a sidecar to his left, two receivers to the right, two to the left. Rolling to the right. He's being rushed. Pressure, throw sideline, comebacker. It's going to be out of bounds, incomplete. Tended for Riley Stapleton. Jake just getting up as he took a lick from uh, Sammy Whalen, the 5'6", 155-pound senior nose guard. You look at him, it doesn't look like much, but he's pretty tough for the middle of that defensive line. The clock is 30.1. You know, you look at the most receptions in a game, 13. And Raleigh has seven right now. 100, but 167 is the school record for yardage. Well, Raleigh's just a 17 short. Yeah, he'll break that in no time. How about on this play? Rolling to the right, getting a block, setting up the toss, incomplete. It was low and away for Dylan Stapleton, and the clock is at 25.6, and it is fourth down. Uh, Jake just misfired. He, he put a lot on that. Dylan had no chance at all. So with Raleigh at 150 yards, and as we mentioned, uh, Mike McGinnis, 1971 that record's been on the board. I uh, hate to say it, but um, Mike, I was on that game. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. He All was right. a great player too, guys. Yeah. Fourth down, fourth down coming up. 25.6 to go, the ball at the 45. Jake fakes, going to run the football, and he's going to get yardage. And he cuts inside at the 30, 25. And he's still on his feet. And uh, now to 25, to the 20, outside. And they're going to go all the way inside the 10-yard line, around the 6-yard line. Man, oh, Dave, we're down Boy. to 12.2, and out of bounds, the clock is stopped. What a run. He ran a lot of yards, Jack. Started to the left. Came all the way back across the field, picked up a couple of big blocks, and there's a flag. That's what I was afraid of I'm looking back upfield here. And it's going to be against Indiana's yeah, back at the 42-yard line. Uh, when you make a move like that, you cut outside yeah. and back inside. Usually somebody gets one in the back. It's a holding call against Indiana. Wow, a terrific, terrific run. That could have possibly set up, if nothing else, Ooh. maybe a field goal. That's right. <laughs> Well, forget that, and it's uh, all the way back to midfield. Back at the Indiana 46, fourth and 11 with 12.2 seconds. And not clinging to a one-point lead, and what is it with these Indiana games and one-point difference? Riley is going to be in punt formation. He's run out of punt formation once, but this is a little different situation here with 12.2 to go. And he will kick it. And the ball where Milson looks at it goes out of bounds at the 18-yard line at 5.6 seconds left in oh, the half. That's a shame, a terrific run by Jake. But that's part of the game, and it turns over to knock. They'll, uh, I don't know what they'll do with 5.6 seconds remaining in the half. And a one-point knock lead, 16 to 15, in a most entertaining first half. Yep, it has been entertaining as these uh, teams are fighting it out here for a playoff spot. One play left here, 5.6 seconds remaining in the half. They're going to go from the gun with Shinsky. 
And he'll hand it off to Milsom. Milsom's into the secondary to 25. The 30 cuts back at the 35. The 40, he'll take it to the 43-yard line, about a 25-yard pickup as time expires. And that is the first half. We'll get down to Bruce here in just a second. Uh, Bruce will send it to you anytime you're ready. Okay, thank you with Coach C. You said they were going to do a lot of things offensively, show yep. you different looks, maybe confuse you. Uh, what adjustments do you have to make? Uh, we got to play better up front. You know, they got us a little bit physically coming off the ball, but our kids responded nicely and they started fighting back. So, you know, it's an even game. I mean, it's slug punch for punch. We knew it was going to be this way. We just got to outlast them and our kids will. Can you get Kolshinsky? Can you contain him? Yeah, no, I think we can. I think we can. We started, we got a better job. We did a much better job towards the second half here, you know, towards our, or late in the second quarter. So, no, I have great confidence in our kids. They're just going to keep fighting, and we're going to wear them down. They're having trouble covering the Stapleton brothers. Will we see more of them in the second half? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're going to try and mix it up. I mean, we've been able to move the ball. We made a couple of mistakes there. The holding penalty killed us, and to get it a real big play, we had, you know, scoring uh, opportunity to climb. College already. <laughs> yeah. We gotta go. I love you. I love you too, Daddy. And thanks for everything. Gratitude. Pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. When I was in high school, I didn't know where I wanted to go to college. But I did know I wanted a major with job potential, and a campus that felt like the right place for me. I chose IUP. I'm studying on a beautiful campus with great professors who focus on student success and 140 academic majors. I'm Megan Spangler. I study nursing. Find your success at IUP. Well, we get ready for Indiana kicking off, Bill. Yeah, that's the adjustment that has to be made. Stop, knock. That's it. That's and what we got. Stop them. We'll see if they do as we get ready for the third period. Gaddy will be kicking off. Three uh, defenders or three receivers back there with Adams, the man in the middle from the 40-yard line, left to right. Here we go. Third period. Knock by one. It's going to be a squibber. And this is going to be volleyballed around. It's still up for grabs and will be covered by Knock at the 24-yard line. I don't know, so much of a squib kick that it was. That's two uh, bad kickoffs. Simple as that. The last one was top. That one was just not struck well at all. But there was no return, so that's not too bad. No, that ended up a little bit better. Yeah, since there was no return and they kind of kicked it around a bit. Just inside the 24-yard line. All right, here we go. Knock quarterback, Cole Shinsky, Jr., 6'4", 215, from the gun with a sidecar right. He'll hand it off to Milton into the secondary 30, cuts to the uh, outside at the 35, and picks up 11 yards for a first down. In the first half of play, Knock rushed for 146 yards, and Milton had 80 of them. First down. Well, Jack, this is kind of been our Achilles heel this year here in Indiana, uh, stopping the run or uh, not being able to stop the run. I think Milsom will run it quite a bit. Crouch out here inside the numbers to the left, slot man inside him, and this time the quarterback keeps the ball and he goes down and a loss and shooty got him. Yeah, nice play by Connor, came right through and grabbed the big guy and put him down. Uh, he, uh, the quarterback's a foot taller than Connor shooty. But it was Shooty brought him down for a loss of a yard. Second down and 11. And the ball spotted middle of the field. The Knights have the ball. On the wing left is Godlewski. Two receivers to the left. And again from the gun, four down lineman for Indiana. Shinsky takes the snap, rolls to the left. He's on his feet. He stays with it inbounds. Takes oh. a hit as he goes out of bounds around the 41-yard line. And it was Shooty, Shooty who got yeah. him again. 
Connor came over on the full gallop, just knocked him right into Coach Z. And that defensive line with Shooty and Denver, uh, Albright is in there, and Gray. So it is third down coming up. They need five for the first down. Ball is on the near side hash at the 41 of Knock. They lead by one, 16-15. Addis Crouch wide to the right side. Grossman is a slot inside him. And it's going to be the bubble screen that's bobbled incomplete. Ball was thrown low down around the ankles of uh, Ryan Grossman. Yeah, they needed five yards. That was only going to get them yeah. even on a completion of maybe two, three yards. So now apparently they'll punt with fourth down. And it will be once again Mac Christie who will be punting to uh, Riley Stapleton. Going to get this ball away from a, around the 28-yard line. And Christie with a low kick end over end is headed. It's going to stay in bounds. And will fall dead at the Indiana 26. And that's where the Indians will have the ball at the 10-0-1 mark. In the third period, Knock leads 16-15. to With Indiana's 15 points, that's another $45 for the Renda Broadcasting Teddy Bear Fun Drive. Thanks to Colonial Motor Mart and the family of Colonial dealerships. We appreciate that. And the ball to 26-yard line. That's where the Indians go to work. Matt Denver, the center. Zelinska's under center. Fakes keeps the football. Jake at the 30. On his feet at the 35. Inbounds at the 40. Cuts inside at the 45. Takes it to near the 50-yard line. And a nice pickup by Jake Zelinskis of 24 yards to the 50. That's a first down. Terrific fake. He stuck that ball into the, the tummy of uh, Connor Schutte. Pulled it right back out. The knock defense bit. And Jake uh, was off to the races. Right by you, Bruce. That's exactly one of the things they talked about at halftime. They felt like they could make a play or two with Jake to the outside on the keeper. Jake has rushed for six touchdowns this year. He's under center right now, and Gaddy goes in motion on the counter. It goes to Snyder. Snyder's on the end. Uh, in, in. Oh. Wow, he took a hit by Asa Adams, but he picked up about nine yards on the play. In fact, he's got ten yards on a first down. Well, he was over it. He was trying to keep him going out of bounds, and he pulled up a little bit and turned, and, boy, he took a pretty good lick. They haven't moved the chains yet, but it's, yeah, do it's now, first yeah. down. Yeah, now they move them. Ball at the 40-yard line, so two plays. Indiana's moved the ball from their 26 to the 40 of Knock, trying to get back the lead. Snyder's a slot man to the left. Riley Stapleton outside the numbers to the right. He already has had a big night. Looking left, throwing the pass incomplete, Ooh. and that was close to being an interception, but battered away by Asa. Uh, Ryan Grossman actually with a coverage one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, Grossman was right. He just turned inside Riley. Almost intercepted. Woo. Second down coming up at the 40-yard line of the Knights. Taking the play from the sideline, Jake Zelinskis under center. Riley to the right, Dillon to the left. Keep it on the ground and fighting his way inside and still churning his way is Connor <laughs> Schutte to the 34, maybe the 33-yard line. See what they gave him because I don't think Connor figured his knee was down, but uh, they are going to put it back where they hit him to the 33. Yeah, just outside the 33-yard line, picks up seven. Second, uh, third down and three, Indiana. Trying to keep the drive going here. Down by one, 16-15, third period at Andy Kuzneski Field in the big game here in the Greater Allegheny Conference. Jake will stay under center once again, and he'll hand it off in going for the first down and shooty again, battling his way, fights his way to the 26, coughed up the football, but the referee, uh, the umpire, uh, indicates that it is down, and he was down at the 26. So they're running the ball. They only rushed in the first half mm -hmm. of play for uh, paltry 34 yards. But now they have a first down at the 26-yard line of the Knights. Still uh, pretty much in tight with a slot right, slot left. Man in motion, back to pass, looking for Stapleton. For Riley, he beats his man, he catches it. It's got a touchdown. That's the third touchdown pass of the night. Jake Zelinskis to Riley Stapleton, 26 yards, and Indiana's back in the lead. Again, Riley beat them. 
He had a good five or six yards on him. Bruce, you were right there. Riley had it wide open. Guys, I've been saying it all year. No one can cover Riley one-on-one. -on -one. He made a good move off the line of scrimmage, and if Jake can get it in his area code, Riley's going to come down with it. Now they're going to go for two and try to put him up uh, by 23-16. Uh, to 16. Yeah, it's 21-16 right now. And we'll see how they're going to line up. And we'll watch... Uh, Going for the two points, Riley Stapleton is a slot to the right. Gaddy is outside him. Jake turns, and he looks, and he throws it, and it's incomplete. And that was underneath to Dylan Stapleton, incomplete. And so the score remains, 21-16 Indiana. We're back with a kickoff right here on WDAD, WDADradio.com. I did everything right. I went to college, graduated with honors, but I'm just not getting to where I want to be. I need to get to the next level. What am I missing? Where are these people going? What, what do they have that I don't? How do I get that edge, that hands-on experience that will put me ahead of the competition? Graduate school at Indiana University of Pennsylvania. And here we go, the ensuing kickoff. It's a grounder scooped up at the 30, back to the 40, and downed at the 43-yard line. Ryan Grossman, Indiana, giving up a lot of yardage on kickoffs. You know, it almost looked like that was the plan that time that he just squibbed it along the ground. That's three in a row like that. But look, Knox starting at its own 42-yard line. Boy, they last time they started at the 24, and well, they've had great field. Yeah, game. it just puts a lot of pressure on your defense as uh, the opposition running with a short field. Indiana has regained the lead, 21 to 16, and the handoff goes to Lowry. He slices off a man at the 45, the 50. They spin him around, and he keeps on going. Oh. They can't get him down, and he takes it all the way to the 42-yard line of Indiana now. Was that a flag? Yes, a flag it thrown is. in the pile afterwards. Boy, there was a, a, a hit by Trajan Jones that finished him off, uh, and it was a big hit. But the young man wouldn't get down. Larry wouldn't get down. But now all the Zebras are out there, and they're just either they're talking about how to get out of 5th Street Stadium or what to do. That's a 16-yard pickup, and Indiana defense is walking back. It's a dead yep. ball foul against Indiana. It's starting to rain, guys. Uh, oh, boy. Let's see the call. Personal foul, unsportsmanlike Indiana. Don't yeah. know who was called on. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. To the 42 plus the unsportsmanlike. And in a hurry, Nock is in great field position. At the 27-yard line and first down. That didn't take long. Jake Zolinskis comes out defensively. Shinsky hands the ball off. Lowry again slashes his way, balancing his way to the 21-yard line of Indiana and a six-yard pickup. And right now, the two Zs are talking with one another. I think one is talking, one is listening. That's Coach Mark talking with <laughs> player Jake. And I think everyone knows who was talking and who was listening. Who's the driver and who's the passenger? Seven-yard gain, three yards for the first down. The ball's at the Indiana 20. Direct staff to Shinsky. Shinsky has running room, and he finds a first down. He takes it inside the 15. He's down around the 13, and Indiana cannot stop the run. Right, we just can't put people down. Indiana, they're all over them. But Shinsky, he just fought his way forward, and it's going to be where? 13-yard line. Well, Schutte and Zielinski both, uh, Zielinskis both weren't in there, and now they go in uh, defensively, and it's first down and 10 at the Indiana 13. For Cole Shinsky, takes the snap, hands the deep hand off to Lowry. Lowry on his feet, finds a seam. There's a flag thrown as he takes it to the Indiana nine-yard line. But this may be another hold. Yep, Four. it's going against them. And that was down to the four-yard line is where he ran to. Oh, yeah, yeah, he took it to the yeah. four, but that's not going to count. Let's see where that occurred, and it oh, looks like the, the 10, at the 10 take yeah. it to the 20. That's about wow. eight penalty, penalties, uh, eight or nine penalties. They've really hurt him. 
knock. Indiana defensively sending Logan Albright in the game and taking Trey John Jones out of the game. Now the ball at the 20 of Indiana, and they need uh, a first down play and long. Hands it off. Lowry again. Lowry, they can't get him. And the little guy takes it all the way down to the 11-yard line with a 9-yard pickup. Boy, he, uh, we didn't see much of him in the first half, but this little guy. Yeah, coming into the game, you had 22 rushes, 120 yards, and an average of five a carry. He is not big, but he's shifty. 5'9", yep. 165, and he actually looks smaller than that. But the pickup will take it to the Indiana 10, where it is second down, and about seven to go here. Direct snap coming with a side card to the right in the pistol formation. Handing it off, it's Lowry again, left side. Tries to bounce outside, but this time he's taken down around the 10. Yeah, nice play by Ryan Waters. He came through and made that ankle tackle just inside the 10. Five and a half to go in the third period. Indiana has scored. Knock is threatening. Indiana leads by five. Now they take uh, Godlewski out of the game. The ball is just inside the 10. Adams split to the right. Grossman inside him. Back to pass, looking, and it's a middle screen to the tight end, Christie, but Indiana wraps him up at the seventh. Didn't really fool anybody. Middle screen goes, and Matt uh, Denver made the tackle at the seven-yard line, and now it's fourth down. Fourth down in a game like this. I don't know, Jack. Uh, maybe they're going to try the field goal. The kid's got, a, got some leg. Let's see here. Uh, he has kicked two of them this year. He's two for two. That's Logan Tupper. Yep. Yep. He's kicked two field goals, two for two. His longest is 25. This will be a 24-yard field goal attempt. So it's within his range on a fourth down play and five to go at the eight-yard line. Trying to get three points on the board, the snap and the kick. And it looks good. It is good. 21-19 now Jeez. as Knock adds a three-pointer by Logan Tupper. 21-19 Indiana. We're back in a moment. WDAD and WDADradio.com. Twenty-one nineteen. after the field goal by Nock, Indiana has the lead. And Plutik will be kicking from right to left. He's get pretty good distance, and he kicks it to the near sideline where it's hauled in by Snyder to the 15 up inside the numbers at the 20, and he'll take it to the 28-yard line. Indiana ball, they lead by two, and now they go to work offensively. Bruce will send it down to you. Okay, guys, uh, some observations. They can't stop Indiana's passing game. The Little Indians having trouble stopping the run. This one looks like it's going to be a shootout. Can Indiana score enough points to offset this great option attack by Knock? And wow. the sideline update brought to you by Good and Associates. Doug Steve, Todd Good and company. So Indiana starts uh, as the band plays, and uh, the director says, quiet. That's good for me. <laughs> but they're uh, right below us. Yeah, yeah, right below us it is. And so now... Jake Zelenskis was going to call a play out of the gun, but he had to call time. And I don't know if they didn't have enough people in there or what. But uh, Jake wasn't too happy that he had to call time as they burned a timeout. Bruce, down to you. Yeah, and remember last week, Jack, how Indiana burned so many timeouts in both halves. Yeah. And they didn't have them when they needed them. Uh, clearly some confusion. And really, after the uh, kickoff, there was no reason for that. We're at the 4-16 mark in the third quarter on senior night at Andy Kuzneski Field. I mentioned tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock, AM 1450 WDAD, Coach's Corner. I will have a recap of this game and all the county games going on tonight and a preview of the West Middlesex Homer Center game, and that's being played tomorrow night. At 7 o'clock, 6.20 airtime, 11.60 WCCS. IUP tomorrow afternoon at Cal. It's the Cole Bowl. 12.30 on U92.5, U92.5 Sports Channel. They're blitzing. 
Jake with the ball out of the gun. He's still on his feet, turns, spins, and falls forward to about the 34. So he picked up seven on the play, just casually following his blocking. Did not uh, overrun the blocking. And they'll go with uh, no huddle offense and a gain of six. Second down, four to go. 21-19 Indiana. Third period, under four minutes to go. Not coming off the win 14-7 over Mars. Two weeks ago, they lost to Hollidaysburg 7-3. Now on the pitch, on the option, and that is Lewis, John Lewis Gaddy, who will take it within a yard of a first down at the 37 of Indiana. Godlewski made the tackle. Third down, one to go at their own 37. Dylan Stapleton to the left. Riley Stapleton along the numbers to the right. Don't he need a yard? Quarterback keeps the ball. Forward he goes and takes it to near the 39 for yep. first down. You know, I'm, I'm kind of looking. Dylan Stapleton, he is 6'4". And guarding him over there on the corner is Ryan Grossman. He's 5'9". We do have a bit of a mismatch there. Jake Zelinskis with three touchdown passes tonight has 19 on the year. He's one away from tying the record in a season by Logan Weaver when Logan was a senior. And Riley has two of the touchdown catches now with 11 and Dillon his seventh on the year. It's a first and 10 Indiana faking, looking, throwing the pass. It's over the middle and it is caught by Dillon Stapleton and he takes the ball all the way to the 40 yard line. Uh -huh. And a first down over the middle. Well, Dillon again inside position, and it was a nice soft pass. Double coverage behind Dillon, but no problem. We've got an official's timeout as they move things. We've got a knock night on the turf. Yeah, injured player for knock. So we'll take timeout, 21-19 Indiana, 2.53 to go. This is Indiana High Football, WDAD, WDADradio.com. Every day is so wonderful and suddenly. It's hard to breathe. Would it be okay if I sat here? Is she serious? Whatever. New girl. Reaching out. Pass it on. So don't you bring me a message from the Foundation for a Better Life. Addis Crouch, the injured knock night but he walked off uh, slowly but under his own power he is so quick too all right we've got first down at the knock 40 yard line update on jake zelinskis 12 for 22 237 yards three touchdown passes one int he's back he looks he throws it over the middle it's juggled incomplete near the 20 yard line riley stapleton the intended receiver well, that was Dylan. No, I'm sorry. That's uh, Dylan with the hard towel. Hard to read. Yeah, well, uh, he's, the got, the, he's right. got the towel in front. Almost made a one-handed catch. Bruce, you saw it. He stuck that right hand out. I'll tell you what, uh, that would have been a circus catch had he made it. The ball was in the area just a little too far, and Dylan almost pulled it in. I used to, uh, in the beginning of the year, I had them uh, pegged by uh, Riley was Garrick, number four, and Dylan was Ruth, number three, but I can't even read the numbers. Read the numbers. Here's a direct snap. Look like movement. Nope, they're going to hand the ball off, and this is Dylan running the football. He's upended as he reaches about the 35-yard line. Four yards short, five yards short of a first down. It'll be third coming up, Indiana. We're in the third quarter. Indiana's up by two, 21-19. Give him an extra yard on that, down to the 34-yard line. And third down and four. Third and four on the near side hash at the Knights 34. Zelenskis will up Jake, uh, under center and have Riley to the right. They need four for the first down. And it is Jake uh, upended, and then he dives forward. Boy, what a play to the 31. He could have been down along the line of scrimmage. He's going to get up slowly. Well... The big, the 260-pound Mark Kronberg, he's the one that clipped him on the leg, and when you're that big and you get hit on the leg, you're going to get up limping. It's going to be fourth and a yard. And they're going. Yep, they're going. And they're not going home. They're going for the first down. A little over a yard, Jack. Uh, probably yeah. about five feet is what they need. So let's watch them line up. 
with fourth and a little more than a yard at the 31 and a half of knock. They're stacked up right in the middle of the box there. They're all there. All right. Uh, looks like Jake is audibleizing. He's going to take the snap. He's going to go up top with it. He throws it off balance. It's Riley coming back. Makes a leaping grab. Miraculously hauls it in between two defenders at We've the 10-yard line. Hold it's going on. to count. They're, they're wrestling for the ball. Offense usually, and the official comes in and says it is a catch at the 4-yard line. At the 10-yard line. Wow, oh, what a grab what? by Riley Stapleton. Woo. Fantastic catch by Riley Stapleton. He gets up, pumping the fist and coming out of there, fired up. And the ball is actually at the nine and a half. I have him nine receptions for 198. We'll try to get a verification on that. Woo, what a catch. After that fabulous catch to the nine and a half, back to pass, looking, going for touchdown pass number four. It's going to be number four in the books. It's a touchdown. It's caught in the far corner, and it is Dylan, I believe. It yeah. is Dylan. Yeah, it's Dylan, and his second touchdown reception of the night, and Indiana increases its lead. Well, just the way Dylan, I had the glasses on him, just the way he turned around to no panic at all and just waited for the ball to come down. It's like I can make a catch. Can you do better, little brother? That's about right. 41.1 seconds in the third period. It's 27-19 now. And Gaddy for the extra point. Boy, that was one heck oh, of a catch. My. And the other one wasn't so bad. And the kick attempt by Gaddy is good. Up and through, 28-19 Indiana. We'll be back on WDAD and WDADradio.com. Are we getting killed on the board? This is your territory, Grimson. Do your job. Grimson. Hello? Oh, hi, honey. Ow? All right. The itsy bitsy spider. <laughs> Climbed up the water. <laughs> Down came the rain. <laughs> I love you too, sweetheart. Love. Pass it on from the Foundation for a Better Life. Well, we're going to the record book here. All kind of records being set here tonight. We believe Jake Zolinskis has broken the passing yardage record. Uh, we've got him unofficially with 289. Is that right? 289 he has? Well, uh, it's passing. Jake oh. has 260. 269. 269. Yes. The kickoff is going to be picked up at the 29 and uh, still in bounds, going to get about five or six yards. So the old record was 252, 252 by Kyle, Kyle Edgar. Edgar against Highlands in 09. And now Jake owns that record. Riley is three away from breaking the receiving record. And check uh, touchdown passes in the game. I believe Steve Neal with five. And Jake's got four. Right, and that's uh, way back in 71 against Central Cambria. You did that game I too, did didn't you, I did that game Jack? too, yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you're around long enough, you might show up for something. There's the pitch, and uh, this time the defense has the runner bottled up, and down goes Milsom. Milsom loses about three on the play. I think Indiana defense has finally, they've caught fire. Uh, Bruce, I would think down there you can see the enthusiasm in that defense. Uh, they're really fired up. And uh, Isaac Gray making this, uh, the, the initial surge in there, he disrupted the whole play. And Z was telling his team after they scored, come on, guys, get a stop. We got them. And we are going to get one play in or not. The last play of the third quarter. I know, no. Nope, not going to get the snap. We're headed to the fourth quarter. The Indiana bench puts up four fingers. Fourth quarter we go. Indiana 28, knock 19. We're back. Indiana High Football. WDAD, WDADradio.com. When I was in high school, I didn't know where I wanted to go to college. But I did know I wanted a major with job potential and a campus that felt like the right place for me. I chose IUP. I'm studying on a beautiful campus with great professors who focus on student success and 140 academic majors. I'm Megan Spangler. I study nursing. Find your success at IUP. And here we go in the fourth quarter to Shinsky. He's back. He looks. He's pressured. He throws. Diving attempt incomplete. That's very difficult. When he was going to his right, Shinsky is a southpaw at 6'4", 
So he had to turn and throw and over the middle, and it came up short. So now third down and 12 for Knock at their own 33. Indiana's up by nine, and boy, we are scurrying through the record books tonight. <laughs> Raleigh needs two more passes to tie and two more passes to tie Moreau. Yep. Yeah, and three to set the record. Back and now, oh, don't don't hit him afterwards. <laughs> uh, this is the whistle blue. You're gonna see. I think Indiana was offside, unless there was somebody moved with the white shirts. Here's the referee. Offside. You're right, Bill. Defensively, Mike Gaffney, the referee. Indiana hasn't had that many penalties tonight, but uh, knock uh, the penalties, to penalties have hurt them. We had a Indiana had a 45-yard penalty after Jake ran that <laughs> one and they brought it back. Yeah, that Woo. that was a tough one. Well, this will be a third and seven at their own 38 for the Knights. They trail by nine, taking the snap to the right, setting up backside pressure, and down goes the quarterback Trey John Jones from the backside. Uh -huh. They got him from the front side and had nowhere to go in the sack all the way back at the 33. Jones was on a mission. He was in that backside, and I know that Chinsky felt him coming. That'll bring up a punt. That's a loss back to the 33-yard line, five-yard loss. Nine-point lead, Indiana, 28-19 to in the fourth quarter. They've had a strong second half here, and Christie will be punting, and he does. It's a low kick. And it'll be returned from the 30-yard line back to the 35 and cut down around the 37-yard line is Gaddy. And he went down hard, but he seems to be okay. We'll send it uh, down to you, Bruce. Okay, guys, Indiana fired up. I got to say, uh, Riley Stapleton's been unbelievable tonight as he has all season long. But after the third quarter, I mean, he just was really animated he's an emotional young man to begin with but it's like he's trying to will his team to win here on senior night and this means so much to him means a lot too and try to make the playoffs with a big bunch of five teams even three and three in the greater allegheny well every thursday when i leave uh, around lunchtime after talking with coach z and doing the pregame show riley's there with his crew and I wish him good luck as uh, he's having lunch. He's having lunch tonight against the opposition. Here's the pass, and he hauls in pass. No, that's Dylan going to take it at the 49, where Lowry makes the tackle on him. Jake Zolinskis is eating up yardage, too. And that'll take it to the 49-yard line and mm -hmm. a 12-yard pickup. Jake has set the passing record, individual passing uh, yardage record. He has thrown four touchdown passes in this game. And Indiana leads 28 to, to 19 with a lot of time left, 10.45 to play. Zolinskis to the line of scrimmage. And he will fake it. Jake keeps it. He's going to run. He's got running room. And then they upend him hard. He is short of a first down, but he gets up. And he's fired up. He's a tough kid. Well, Ben Lowry hit him real low, submarine him, and Jake just bounced up. Because it's one of those nights, nothing can hurt me, guys. If you're 5'9 and you want to tackle 6'2, that's a good idea. <laughs> Second down coming up, about a yard and a half to go for a first down at the 42 and a half of Knock. He took a shot. Yeah. He and did. I'll tell you, he looked at the defender like, that's all you got? <laughs> Sideline updates and comments brought to you by Good and Associates of Indiana. Jake Zelenskis under center. He has Shooty behind him. Need about a yard and a half. Shooty gets the ball, picks up a first down, steamrollers a guy, and <laughs> takes it to the 35-yard line. Adams uh, make it finally was Milsom who brought him down and took the brunt of that. And Indiana powers its way to the 35 with a new set of downs. Jack, we're seeing a really good Indiana team tonight. Maybe a, a little trouble stopping some of the runs, but these guys are playing, uh, I think, their best game of the season. Second half, they have come out very, very strong after trailing by one point, 16-15 at uh, the half. And now uh, Waters is in the backfield. Jake has the ball. They have him. He almost broke a tackle and maybe uh, gets a yard. A defensive end, uh, Ty Gornick, he's a, he's a force. He's a, on the right side, and he got right through and pulled Jake down, but got a yard. Gain is a yard, second and nine at the 34 of Knock. Indiana 28, Knock 19. 
These teams are both three and three to stay alive here. There's no guarantee if they win tonight, whoever wins tonight, that they're in the playoffs. But it's a big step forward. Now under center, Zelinskis has a double wing formation with uh, one back behind him. Back, sideline pass, pitch and catch. Catch is going to be good by Dylan Stapleton at the 30-yard line, 29-yard line of knock. Four yards short of a first down. Great footwork. Great footwork by Dylan. This kid is just unbelievable tonight. Third down and a solid four to go at the knock. 29-yard line. Getting the call from the sideline. And now on a third and four. Jake Zelinskis under center. He will fake it, keep it, but uh, again, they got him wrapped up, and that kid Gornick again Same got him. guy, that kid Gornick, you're right. A defensive end, he's tough. You know, there's a lot of spotlight on Riley Stableton, but listen, Dylan, seven catches, 85 yards tonight, too. They're going for bragging rights when they get home tonight. Yep, it's a lot of big numbers, but uh, the biggest number will be if Indiana can put up more than the opposition. Right now, the Indians lead it 28 to 19. But it's fourth down, and they need three for the first down. And the ball is resting at the 28-yard line of Nock. So now to the line of scrimmage, fourth down, three to go. At the Nock 28-yard line, under center, Jake is back. He looks, he throws, tall, oh. incomplete, too tall. Uh, Defender oh. on uh, Riley Stapleton over there, and the ball was just thrown up a little bit too tall, so... Going to be on the Indiana defense as Nock takes over on downs. Yeah, he went up. You can only go so high. He was, he's 6'5", and he went up another couple feet, and the ball was that much higher. Mm. So, Bruce, uh, well, you know, the, the play was there. The ball was just thrown high. I like the play call a lot, yeah. Put it down about six inches, and he's got it. They'll go uh, from the, the gun, and they hand it off from Shinsky, and that's Milsom to the 36. He got good yardage on that, seven yards. Second down and three. There's a difference here, nine points. So you're looking at two possessions. Side card to the left, two receivers to the left. Milson again bumps into one of his blockers, turns the corner, picks up a first down. Down the sideline he goes. Somebody better get him. Knock him out of bounds. All the way at the Indiana 35-yard line. It was John Lewis Gaddy who bounced him out. 7.15 to play, and Knock's going to make it a run, but what else is new? It's at the 36 of Indiana. A 28-yard run for Milson. That puts him over 100, 126 yards for Milsom. Shinsky has a now, throws the toss. It is caught by Adams, and he's dancing with his defender, and now a flag is thrown. I don't know whether Jake got his hand up there and touched that face mask or not, but the flag came as Jake was wrapping up the, uh, the ball carrier. It's in the vicinity of the 31. It's going against Indiana, because the knock uh, night bench is uh, applauding. Yep. Yeah, it's the face mask, all right. Yeah. Uh, what a game, Jack. Knock just gets back there. There's no quit in this team. No, and they have had some great games over the years. This is the 15th game in the series. Indiana leads, uh, or Knock leads the series 8-6. Indiana handily won it last year, but for the most part, there have been some really tough games. So now it takes it all the way to the 16-yard line of Indiana. Seven minutes to play in the game. Indiana by nine. Faking Shinsky keeps the ball. He's tripped up, slices off the right side for a couple of yards. Trajan Jones making the tackle. Take it to the 13. Gain of three, second and seven. They had Lowry going for a while. and uh, With success. With a lot of success, mm -hmm. that's right, yep. Let's see, they'll put uh, Adams split to the left. And the ball is at the 13 of Indiana, where it is second down and seven. From the gun, Shinsky on the option. Is he going to keep it? He fakes the pitch. He keeps the ball. He's still on his feet, and he won't go down. And finally, he does inside the 10, around the eight-yard line. 
And that is close to the first down. Let's see if he got it. He's going to be at the six is where the ball is. Well, then he's got it. A missed tackle off the, the fake pitch. There was a missed tackle in the backfield. So, first six. and goal at the six. Six-yard line with six minutes to play in the game. 28-19, Indiana. Direct snap coming. They're going with the uh, Wildcat. This is Milsom. Milsom off the right side. Turns, spins, and at about the three is where they hit him and stop him. Boy, those numbers were there. There it is. Uh, finally see it. Isaac Gray making that tackle. Second and goal. We'll call it the three. So now, again, it's Milsom from the uh, Wildcat. He has it. He dives oh. and into the end zone. He goes for the touchdown. And the Knights have scored 28-25 at the 525 mark. Well, he just hurtled into the end zone. Jack, what a game we have going great, here tonight. Great one. And great one to win, tough one to lose. Either way. A lot of time left. 525 remaining in this one. Indiana just has to make about three first downs here. Here we go. Logan Tupper to attempt the extra point, the snap and the spot, and he, I think he missed it. Wide left, no oh. good. No good. Big miss. That was huge, too. That's a three-point game now. That's exactly right, Mr. Mr. Mathematician. It's 28 <laughs> to 25. We're back with a kickoff on WDAD and WDADradio.com after this. Knock comes right back. They march it down 71 yards, seven plays. Took 227 with Milsom on the three-yard run. And the extra point miss, a three-point game, 28-25 Indiana. And the Little Indians are going to get the ball, looking for perhaps an onside kick. Still 525 to go. No, they're going to go with the long kick. And this may go out of bounds, and it does. Yep, out of bounds it goes. Indiana was all bunched up around the 40-yard line, 45-yard line. And Knock elected to kick it down, and we got a break with it going out of bounds. Isn't it something last week Indiana loses by a point on a blocked extra point? Yep. And now could they hold on here and maybe help to win on uh, an extra point that's no good? But we still have a lot of time left in this game. So good field position because the ball goes out of bounds. Indiana will begin at its own 35. So it's uh, time for the Indians to go to work. After the drive, 71 yards, seven plays, two minutes, 27 seconds. And the drive brought to you by Wood Chevrolet in Plumville, where after 50 years, a wood deal is still a good deal. And uh, bunched up in the middle oh. and now breaking a tackle and fighting his way. And this is Jake across the 40, the 45. And he's knocked out of bounds on a first down at the 49-yard line. What an amazing run. Beautiful. Making a lot out of absolutely nothing. Broken play in the backfield. And Jake came out around the right side and turned it on down to the knock 48-yard line. About 17 yards on that play. And a first down. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you, he'd done a little bit of everything. We got a lot of stars of the game. And don't forget on the first Commonwealth Bank postgame show, the Jake Davis State Farm Players We'll have to make it players of the game. Not on you, yeah. Be a whole bunch of them. First down, 10 to go for Indiana. Ball at the 48-yard line of the Knights. Connor Schutte, after two yards, is stopped at the 46. But the clock is Indiana's ally. Five minutes yeah. to play. Well, Schutte, you know, he's pretty sure-handed. And he tucks that in. And he can bang off a little bit of yardage. And that's what we need, a couple of first downs. Second down coming up for Indiana. They have a 28-25 lead. Last week they lost 29-28. And, of course, they had the big victory at the beginning of the year. 
And now they'll go from the gun. Man in motion, Dylan Stapleton, and he's in motion. He takes the ball. He tries to turn the corner. They have him at the 44-yard line. Took him a long time to try to make the corner, and I think yeah. we have he, he's down. Or he, Well, he was he was really lumbering uh, as he headed out that way. Yeah. Ryan Grossman came up and gave him a pretty good lick to the 44. Third down coming up. And for Indiana, they've got a good six yards to go with 4-10 to play in the game. Ball is at the far side hash mark at the 44-yard line of the Knights. Indiana, 28. Knights, 25. And Jake exhorting the bench here, Get the, we need to play here. We need to play. Play clock is down to six from the gun with a sidecar left. Jake takes the snap. He comes to the left. He's on the move. He dumps one out here to Riley. One on one, and he can't make the play. The defender was in front of him. The Indiana bench wants interference. Yep. Riley wants interference, but the official will not go for that. Looked like Matt Christie pushed off a little bit in the back, but uh, it's, a, it's a no call. You know, Jack, I have the glasses. Indiana guys are tired, but they are in good shape. And they're not as tired as knock, and that is making the difference. This is where the conditioning pays off, Bruce. I'll tell you what, uh, he almost caught that ball, and I think he was interfered with, and he still almost made a circuit catch. Now Stapleton will be punting. Riley in punt formation. Line of scrimmage is the Indy, is the knock 44. 3.43 to play, Indiana by three. And the kick is going to be a pretty good one. Fair catch at the 14-yard line of Knock. And not, they will take over bad. with 3.37 to play. They're 14. And the defense now called upon to make some plays. Well, Knock has been able to eat up huge, huge yardage. They've marched it down the field. They've had some big drives tonight. Trailing by three. 3.37 to go in what has been an extremely entertaining ball game. Oh, yeah, great game here tonight at Andy Kuzneski Field. And uh, Shinsky hands it off, and there's yardage in across the 20. They can't afford it. And now we have a flag it's throw. A face mask, That's what yeah. I thought. Saw it I, from here. Yeah, the weight oh. that the ball carrier went down awkwardly, and that's going to be about an eight-yard pickup and 15 more. Uh, yeah, went out to the uh, the one. He's standing at the 22. And I don't know the – Really, the penalties have really entered into this game. That's what it is. Another face mask penalty. Takes the ball all the way out to the 37-yard line. They picked up 23 yards on that first play. Exactly. This defense needs to come up with a big play for Indiana. Leading it by three. Shinsky with the ball. And hit. And he's going to be stopped. And he'll go down yeah. now. The whistle blows him dead at the 32. It's a loss of five. Logan Albright with a huge defensive play for Indiana. That's what they need. Big plays like that. Because the clock continues to run. We've got three minutes and five seconds to play. Three timeouts remaining in the game for Knock. Indiana has two. Second down and 14 to go. And the ball is at the 33-yard line. Sidecar to the left, two receivers to the left, two to the right. Shinsky, the southpaw, has the ball, but he's in the pack, and he's going to be wrapped up, and down he goes. And I don't know what they were trying there, but the Indiana defense smothered him with three different players, not even quite at the line of scrimmage. This will bring up, not even, no, not at the line of scrimmage at all. Thir third and uh, 13. Another big defensive play this time, Connor Schutte. Standing him up at the 34-yard line. Third down, 13 to go. At the knock, 33. Indiana, 28. Knock, 25. Direct snap comes to Shinsky. He's back. He looks. He's going to run. But they're going to get him. No, he, he eludes a man. And he throws it downfield long. And it's incomplete at the 35-yard line. And there are no flags. No, nah, there shouldn't be. Are no flags. Riley Stapleton was inside uh, number eight, Ryan Grossman, and the ball sailed over his head. Fourth down and 13 with 2.12 remaining on the clock. Knock has to go. Yeah. Yeah, they have to go. This is the ball game. Uh, it could be the ball game right here. Yeah, 2.12 to play. They pick up a first down, and they're still going. But uh, remember now, they have uh, three timeouts. Indiana has two, and Knock calls a timeout. Stay with us. 
photo finish coming up. Indiana by three, WDAD, WDADradio.com. Wow. College already. <laughs> yeah. We gotta go. I love you. I love you too, Daddy. And thanks for everything. Gratitude. Pass it on. A message from the Foundation for a Better Life. All right, we're going to be uh, back now, and here we go with uh, fourth down. Knock has the ball, fourth and 13. They have the ball at their own 34. We have two minutes, 12 seconds remaining in regulation. 28-25, Indiana with the lead. Crowd into it now on parents' night, on uh, family night, on every night. Back to pass, Shinsky looks, throws the pass, and it is no good, incomplete. And it was going to be short of a first down anyway by about two yards. And there are no flags, and Indiana will get the ball at the knock 34-yard line with 2.07 to play. Good defensive stand by Indiana. They made some big plays even after the 15-yard penalty. Some big plays. And to keep knock at bay, 34-yard line, 2.07 to go. Now protect the football and win the football game. And that's easy to say. We still have two minutes and ten, uh, two minutes and seven seconds remaining. Ball is at the knock, 34. One first down ought to do it, Jack. So they will line up under center, and Jake Zelinskis hands the ball off to you-know-who, Connor Schutte, and he fights his way to the 32-yard line for two, three yards, timeout knock. We'll keep it here with 2.02 to play in uh, our regulation time. Be sure to check all the scores we have uh, from MSA and here on uh, WDAD Radio that uh, comes your way with Don Rebel and company later on tonight. Well, what a game here, and we're down to the nitty-gritty in week number eight. We are. It comes right down to the end. Over the mountain next week, over to Hollidaysburg, and that will have playoff implications, but you get this week under your belt, and uh, you're breathing a little easier. Had some great battles with Hollidaysburg down through the years. I think there were at least three ties back in the 1970s. And the ball is uh, now second down and seven to go, Indiana, with 2.02 to play. Protecting a three-point lead, it's at the knock, 31 and a half yard line. Jake hands the ball off to Connor Schutte, and he keeps covering the ball. They have him. He goes down at the 28, and the clock is down to 154 with another timeout coming for knock, and they'll have one more to go. Well, that's who I give the ball to, Connor Schutte. He just stays low to the ground and hanging on to it. Third down, and uh, what do we have, four. When play resumes, 154 to go in this one. Indiana up by three. A right. record-setting night. Yeah, record-setting night. Well, I hope you guys have all these numbers here. I'm trying to remember it. We have, uh, we have a lot of numbers. Yeah, a lot of numbers. A lot right. of numbers for you. Record-setting right. numbers, but uh, all would go for naught if they don't come away with a win. Still a minute 54 away. Now to the line of scrimmage at the 30, at the 28. 28 of not. Jake Zelinskis wants to make sure he comes to the bench to make sure he has everything's on the right page with a third down and a long four to go to 28. And they hand the ball off and <laughs> fighting for about uh, a really tough yard off the left side, eating up clock, and that's going to be the uh, ball at the 27-yard line. Shooty covering up with both hands. They were ripping at him, but down to the 27 is fourth down and three. Fourth and three. And the clock is moving. And they have no timeouts. They have none. So if Indiana can somehow get that three yards and an inch, uh, this one is over. But they're going to run it all the way down. And they're down to a we second. We have no play clock on the scoreboard side. Yeah. What we have going. I, I think they're keeping it down. Now they... Now, see, it went to zero on the far side, then back to one, and I think... Uh, Indiana's called a timeout. They did. All right, we're going to step out for a quick break. 28-25, 70 seconds to go. Indiana leads. We're back on WDAD, WDADradio.com. 
day is so wonderful and suddenly it's hard to breathe. Would it be okay if I sat here? Is she serious? Whatever. New girl. Reaching out. Pass it on. So don't you bring me a message from the Foundation today. for a Better Life. All right, on the fourth down and three, looking to the left side, Jake throws the pass, and it is caught, and that'll be a first down at the 23-yard line with a minute six to go, and Nock cannot stop the clock, and Indiana will go in victory formation with 28-25 on the board, and the Indians have a three-point lead, and taking the knee is Jake Zelinskis. Jack, we can uh, mention now Jake Zelinskis with 291 yards, 17 of 30. That is the all-time passing, uh, most yards in a game passing for Indiana. You know, Dillon with eight catches, 90 yards, but Riley setting a school record with 199 yards in the game. And again, the victory formation with 35 seconds and counting, and they just counted down here on this final home game. And again, taking the knee, and that's going to be the game. They're going to run it out. And Indiana coming away with a tremendous victory here tonight in a big battle with Mock 28 to 25 to put them at four and three in the section and giving them another step closer to the WPI AO playoffs. Nothing is etched in stone, but uh, it's pretty close. And it's, it's a step better than it was before the game. We'll be back in a moment. Coming up, the first Commonwealth Bank post-game show. First Commonwealth Bank, time to be first. Indiana 28 and 25 for Knox. 